what is up YouTube and YKF31 here hope everyone is alive and well and doing good bringing you a ranked game of NCAA 12 taking my Notre Dame fighting Irish up against the mighty Oregon Ducks always a very hard matchup Oregon always gives me fits. They're so fast and athletic on both sides of the ball. And of course I'm rolling with my 3-3-5 stack and in this game I'm using my main custom run and shoot playbook. It's actually based out of the flex bone and I call it the flex shoot. Those of you who are relatively new to me will get to see this for the you know first time. <laughs> but Anywho, lots to talk about. Lots and lots to talk about. Where to begin? Occasionally I get questions from you guys, and since I am horrible at returning messages, I figure I would attempt to answer some of them here while you guys are watching this game. So away we go. And let me start out with answering the easiest question to answer. And that is, who will I play at quarterback for Notre Dame in NCAA 13? And that, that, the answer to that question is easy. It's got to be Gunner. Got to play Gunner. How can you have a quarterback on your roster named Gunner and not play him? There should be a rule, as a matter of fact. If you have a quarterback on your roster named Colt or Gunner, you simply have to play him. No ifs, ands, or buts. So, Gunner Kyle, or Keel, will... I will be rolling with. I don't care who Notre Dame's actual starting quarterback is, I am rolling with Gunner. So that is that. Another question I've gotten from a couple of people, and I don't know why they're asking me of all people. I was kind of surprised. Um, people who are just getting interested in doing the YouTube video thing or looking to um, get their videos a little bit more exposure. You know, how to go about doing that, I guess. Um, I don't know. <laughs> you know, I consider myself relatively small potatoes here in the YouTube world. I mean... You know, I don't really seek any type of attention. I just do what I do and have fun, you know, doing what I like to do. And I guess that's the main thing, is just be you and have fun, you know, doing what you do. I mean, this is for entertainment, so, you know, find your niche, be yourself, and, you know, people will either like it, or not. There'll always be people that, you know, either like you, YouTube like you, or YouTube dislike you. But, as long as you're being yourself, that's all you can really ask for. for my, my, myself, for example, you know, I am not a critiquer. I do maybe a couple of critique videos in a year. It's not my thing. I don't like them. The vast majority of critique videos I find to be redundant, repetitive, and useless. You know, there's a, there's a few here and there that are actually, you know, informative and constructive. But, you know, the overwhelming majority of them aren't exactly telling us things we don't already know. So, I mean, whatever. It's just, it's just not my cup of tea. I want to you know, play the games that I enjoy, not talk about them. What I do like to do, I do like, I obviously have a passion for football, both from a playing perspective and from a teaching perspective. I do enjoy doing that. I do enjoy making videos, you know, showing someone who may only have a casual knowledge of, you know, the X's and O's of football, you know, the ins and outs of a cover three, or a cover two, or you know how a particular style of offense or defense works, and how to apply that, you know, to a video game. That I enjoy doing. I enjoy doing that quite a bit. 
And as you guys know, I have, you know, a passion for the run-and-shoot offense. And I got that from, you know, watching Warren Moon when I was growing up. He was one of my favorite quarterbacks to watch. And also, if you look at my avatar, you see a picture of a wing T offense. That's the offense that I played in. And I was a wing back, which was a, or is, you know, a hybrid running back, lead blocker, wide receiver. So what I wanted to do in NCAA using the custom playbooks was, you know, combine, basically recreate my old high school offense with um, old school and modern run and shoot concepts. Drops back to pass. And that's what I enjoy doing. You know, I've always enjoyed the teaching aspect of football. Um, one of the advantages of participating in a sport in college is, you know, meeting people you wouldn't ordinarily meet. And when I was running track, uh, during one off season, I was in summer school, um, I had become, you know, acquaintances with one of, with one of the local, you know, high school football coaches. And during one off season, when I was in summer school, he asked me if I'd be, you know, willing to you know, do some, you know, speed training with the defensive backs or for his defensive backs. And I said, sure, why not? I was in summer school. I had time to kill. You know, that'd be great fun. And I maintained that relationship. And um, after my eligibility and track ended, I still had a semester to go as far as, you know, finishing up my degree. And... He offered to let me, you know, volunteer working with their defensive backs, and I did that for a couple of years after graduating college, um, and then going out into the real world to earn a living. <laughs> so I always enjoy the teaching aspect of football as well, and try to, you know, bring that to the video game form. That's that's my style. That's what I do, and you know, I don't take it so serious. You know, I don't want to rub elbows with developers or anything like that you know my take on that is if you're a video game developer and I know who you are I view video game developers like NBA referees if I know your name it's probably not for a good reason you know just do your job make a game that's entertaining fun to play and provide me provides me with entertainment and that's really all I ask for <laughs> so just do that to the best of your ability and other than that I don't want to see you I don't want to hear you <laughs> ah, I tell you that ain't gonna work pretty silly decision for him to go for it in fourth down but you know, that's how I roll in the YouTube world and in the gameplay world. You know, that's my little take on simulation gameplay, which comes up a lot. You know, to me, all simulation gameplay is, it's none of this nonsense of, you know, well, this game is more sim than the other blah, blah, blah. A game is ultimately... Unless we're not talking about, you know, obviously games like NBA Jam or, you know, things like that, or NFL Blitz, but a game is really only as sim as the person playing it, and, you know, I prefer to roll with trying to replicate authentic play styles. I don't see what's fun about relying on a bunch of exploits and gimmicks in order to compete or win. I mean, if you have to exploit the game's programming in order to be competitive, you know, is that really being competitive or is that just showing that you're someone who needs to cheat in order to succeed in the game? You know, what joy in there is that? So, that's why I play the way I do. You know, I love the sport. I want to represent the sport as or replicate the sport as best as the game's environment can and that's what provides me with enjoyment so to me simulation is as much a mindset as anything else
You know, what my opponent does doesn't really concern me. I just do what I do. And I really don't do anything exotic. I mean, my gameplay is very basic. I just try to maximize my roster, have my guys do what they're best at, and let my scheming and stick skills do the rest. You know, football isn't rocket science. So, that's pretty much it as far as um, answering some questions from you folks who like to pick my brain. Now this really annoyed me here. I mean, jeez. I wasn't really annoyed by the interception with a defensive lineman. I mean, Oregon's defensive line does that kind of stuff all the time. I mean, they're they're that athletic. But that annoyed me. That should have been at least a bat down. But what can you do? That's going to happen at times. Shake it off. And that's what I mean. I mean, it's a video game. Video game things are going to occasionally happen. And rather than get all bent out of shape about it, you know, just shake it off and move to the next play. So I'll let you guys see how this game ends up, and I'll talk to you all later. Peace. Under a minute left in the game. Their flags are all over the place, and they'll blow it dead. He hits him hard at the one. They'll try the fullback and plows ahead for the touchdown. Oh my gosh, this one is yard line. First down. Hands off left, and they got him up. They're showing blitz. Swings it out left to the halfback. Big play there, and now they're looking. Rose left, the running back's got it. Touchdown, Fighting Irish. It can be advantageous to... It's knocked away, incomplete. I don't think the quarterback... And they get nice yardage on that run. Boy, I thought he was going to pick it up. That was a solid effort, but the defense held him back. They're calling an audible. And he makes it out to about the 14-yard line. After a decent run up the gut. James takes the toss left. Runs outside for a nice game. Hands it off in for the score. So they come up with the equalizer. This. So the offense will stay on the field and attempt the two-point conversion. And the ball game's over, and our final score in this one, Notre Dame, 17, Oregon, 16. Here's a look at today's Player of the Game.